Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the third in the series of videos on pneumonia. So this video is on low bar pneumonia by Dr. C.S.B.R. Prasad, Professor of Pathology, Sri Devrajaras Medical College. And coming to the next type of pneumonia that is low bar pneumonia. By definition, low bar pneumonia affects the entire lobe. Entire lobe is involved in this inflammatory process. It can occur in any age, but it is very uncommon in uh, the infancy and older persons. So, if you look at uh, the pathogens which can cause uh, bronc no, sorry, this lobar pneumonia, pneumococcus is the one, streptococcus pneumonia, types especially 1, 2, 3, 7, and uh, staphylococcus, streptococcus, and uh, gram negative organisms also known to produce bronco, uh, sorry, lobar pneumonia. And uh, look, looking at the pathogenesis of lobar pneumonia, um, this uh, it is mainly caused by organisms which has got mucoid encapsulation. So, what are the organisms that uh, has mucoid encapsulation? Pneumo Streptococcus pneumoniae, Klebsiella, and Haemophilus. And um, these organisms are the ones which are commonly associated with the production of low bar variety of pneumonia. And in this uh, inflammation, um, this uh, inflammation spreads from one alveolar sac to the other alveolar sac. Uh, through what is known as a pores known as pores of corn. So this uh, pores of corn is usually um, meant to um, meant for exchange of gases, exchange of gases and uh, this uh, uh, also facilitates the spread of infection from uh, one alveolar sac into the adjacent alveolar sac. And uh, the as an important uh, um, here one should understand uh, the implications of this mucoid encapsulated organisms or encapsulated organisms. So this pneumococcus, clipsiella, haemophilus are encapsulated organisms and they resist uh, phagocytosis. So macrophages uh, cannot tackle these organisms and any patient who is suffering from uh, this um, what do you call that um, loss of spleen or uh, asplenia, the person who is suffering from uh, asplenia or person who is not having the spleen due to some reason either it may be congenital asplenia or it may be due to um, acci uh, accident and accidental injury and uh, surgical removal of the spleen or it may be due to some hematological uh, condition like um, sickle, sickle cell anemia where autosplenectomy can occur so in these conditions uh, the person is susceptible for infections by this encapsulated organisms. So pneumococcus, Klebsiella, Haemophilus can cause life-threatening infections in any patient who is not having this spleen, especially in children. So, so sickle cell anemia, asplenia and uh, splenectomy are the answers for this um, infection with encapsulated organisms. And uh, this uh, diagram represents the um, the presence of pores of corn. You can see that uh, scan, uh, scanning electron microscopy photograph wherein alveolar sacs are highlighted and if you look at the alveolar wall, sac wall, there are some dark spots. These are the communication between the small adjacent alveolar sacs and they are known as pores of corn through which the inflammation or infection spreads from one alveoli to the other and producing lobar variety of pneumonia. And uh, this is X-ray appearance of typical lobar pneumonia. Whole lobe is converted into a opaque shadow. And uh, you can see the tracheobronchial tree highlighted by what is known as air bronchogram. So you can see the bronchial tree in, uh, um, I mean, uh, it is darker in uh, color and it is uh, known as a air bronchogram and it is typically seen in the case of uh, lobar variety of pneumonia and this is a gross specimen involved in lobar pneumonia you can see that um, lower lobe is converted into a solid uh, substance so this is a typical appearance of uh, lobar pneumonia and microscopy of uh, lobar pneumonia is, uh, it is same uh, alveoli are filled with inflammatory exudate alveolar septa will have the congested capillary channels and in addition to that there may be uh, what you call that um, associated changes if it is not tackled properly abscess formation and uh, the overlying pleura may show pleurisy or pleural pleuritis or exudation 
and fibrous covering of the pleural surfaces and here this uh, lung uh, section is showing the complete uh, it is not possible to identify whether it is lung or some other uh, some other uh, tissue you can see the whole thing is solid and it is difficult to say it is lung okay and it is due to the inflammatory exudate uh, present in the alveoli masking their um, existence and he again here high power view shows the alveolar septa which are little thickened and reddish in color because of congestion and alveolar sacs are filled with inflammatory exudate again high power view to show the alveolar septa with congested capillary channels and alveolar lumen is rich in exudate and rbc's so there are some syndromes you should know which is connected with pneumonia that is community acquired pneumonia and uh, community acquired atypical pneumonia nosocomial pneumonias aspiration pneumonias chronic uh, pneumonias necrotizing pneumonias so these are all uh, the important things and they are specifically associated with certain pathogenesis or path pathologies and uh, identifying these entities will give narrow down your differentials okay and uh, coming to this uh, community acquired pneumonias the main pathogen uh, pathogens in the connected with this community acquired pneumonias are uh, streptococcus pneumoniae and moraxella hemophilus and legionella and the community acquired atypical pneumonias atypical pneumonia pneumonias by definition they are vi viral pneumonias probably mycoplasma and chlamydia also may be added to this and uh, many viruses can cause uh, community acquired atypical variety of pneumonia which is enlisted in this slide and uh, nosocomial pneumonias usually uh, hospital acquired pneumonias they are hospital acquired pneumonia or haps so mainly they are gram negative rods which are associated with this and rarely staph aureus can be an etiological agent in the case of nosocomial pneumonias the, the importance of this nosocomial pneumonias or they are multi drug resistant pneumonias and aspiration pneumonias as i told in the beginning aspiration oral cavity is rich in anaerobic organisms and aspiration pneumonias are usually caused by anaerobic uh, bacteria and uh, this uh, more importantly this uh, chronic pneumonias chronic pneumonias are caused by bacteria like uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis atypical mycobacteria or some fungi like um, coccidioides or some nocardia actinomycosis these are the ones which are associated with chronic pneumonias but the uh, importance of this chronic pneumonias is when you are encountering a patient who is older is suffering from uh, recurrent uh, pneumonias or chronic pneumonias then think of the possibility of obstructive pathology so there must be some obstruction in the lung fields especially uh, our uh, um, uh, high suspicion should be on bronchogenic carcinoma so bronchogenic carcinoma may be obstructing somewhere in the lung fields and which is causing chronic variety of pneumonias so in older persons chronic pneumonias try to exclude the possibility of bronco bronchogenic carcinoma and necrotizing pneumonias are caused mainly by the staph aureus and anaerobic variety of organisms and thanks for watching do subscribe to this channel